this lesson we are going to look at converting numbers in base 5 into base 8. We are going to convert numbers which are in base 5 into base 8. So basically what you need to understand or what you need to do when you are converting numbers in base 5 into base 8. First you need to convert the number given in base 5 into base 10. Then thereafter you convert the number of found into base 8. Watching as I am going to demonstrate how you can convert uh, the numbers in base 5 into base 8. Okay. <clears throat> so on the board here I've got this question which is uh, convert 4, 3, 1, 2, base 5 into base 8. Okay. So what we're going to do, first we're going to convert this number into base 10. Okay. So let me write the numbers. We have 4, 3, 1, 2. So let's identify the place values of these numbers. The place value of one, 2 is 1. The place value of 2 is 1 in base 5. The place value of 1 in base 5 in this figure is 5. The place value of 3 in this figure is 25. The place value of 4 in this figure is 100. 25. Okay, so now what we are going to do next is we are going to multiply this number by its place value and this number by its place value and this number by its place value and this number by its place value. So let's get started. We are going to say 4 by 125 plus okay, 3 by 25 plus 1 by 5, okay, then plus 2 by 1, okay, I'm sure I've copied, I've multiplied every number by its place value, okay, this is the rule we follow when you're converting numbers in different bases into base chain. Okay, so <clears throat> 4 by 125 will give us 500, 3 by 25 will give us 75 plus, not, let me not put a, a multiplication sign here, it's plus, so we are just adding, so plus, then 500 plus 75 plus 5, then 2 by 1 will give us 2. This 5 has come from 1 by 5 to give us 5. Okay. <clears throat> now we have found the products of these. So let's add them. So this one will be 500, 575, 580, 582. Okay. So we have 582. So we are saying 4, 3, 1, 2, base 5 is equal to 582 in base 10. Now let's convert this number into base 8 because you asked to give this the value of this number into base 8. So we're going to convert it into base 8. Okay, so I'll draw the flame here. I'm using the remainder method. So I'll write 8 because that is where I want to convert this 582 into. Then I'll write the remainder here where I'll be writing the remainders, okay? So, where will be the... How many times can 8 go into 500, 582, okay? So, we are saying in 580, how many times can it go? So, it will go 70 times in 560, then 560 it will go 70 times, then in 222 it will go 2 times, so we are talking about 2 times, then 16, we are saying then remainder 6, okay, so it will go 72 times, remainder 60, then we 8 into 72, it will go 9 times, remainder 0. 
then 8 into 9 to go 1, remainder 1. Then 8 into 1 to go 0 times, remainder 1. Okay, then let's write this answer uh, starting from down going upwards. So we say equal to, then we will start with this one down. It was the answer we're copying starting from down going upwards, then 1, then 0, then 6, then 8. Okay. Okay, so we are saying 4, 3, 1, 2, base 5, converted into base 8 will be 1, 1, 0, 6, 8. Okay, so <clears throat> converting one, 4, 3, 1, 2, base 5, into base 8 will give us 1106 base 8. So basically, this is how we convert numbers in base 5 into base 8. Thank you so much for watching.